Now, Pope Francis warns against increasing tensions between Iran and the U.S., saying that it is setting the stage for a broader conflict in the Middle East while jeopardizing efforts to rebuild Iraq. E che rischiano anzitutto di mettere a dura prova il lento processo di ricostruzione dell'Iraq. While speaking to ambassadors to the Holy See, the Holy Father urged all of the interested parties to, quote, avoid an escalation of the conflict and keep alive the flame of dialogue and self-restrain in full respect of international law. Pope Francis made clear the American strike and Iran's response to it was worrisome in the volatile region. Janusz Katensky, Ambassador of Poland to the Holy See, joins us now from Rome. Ambassador, thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, Pope Francis emphasized his desire for peace and dialogue in the new year. What's your reaction to the Pope's overall message to diplomats today, and what stood out to you? I would say that what His Holiness said today is extremely important. The main word was hope. Uh, it's, it was really obvious that uh, Pope Francis is very concerned about so many wars, about so many conflicts all over the world, uh, not only in the Middle East, but wherever you look, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe. There are wars, internal conflicts, so many refugees, so many people who are running away from their homes. And uh, the question is what to do? I don't think that it is too idealistic if we are counting on the Christian, on the Catholic hope. We must have a hope without the hope that we can resolve all the problems. Well, if not all, maybe some of them without using the force, that's a good news. But uh, if we are looking now at the map of the world, we are not sitting on one volcano, but we are sitting on many volcanoes which can explode every minute, uh, as we have learned just in a couple of days. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, the wars and the violence, which, of course, was another key topic in the Holy Father's speech. Do you think it's possible for politicians to have a dialogue when there are lives on the line? Mm, well, I think it is very, very difficult, but, but possible. Um, we can't pretend that uh, we are all together, a great family of friends. Uh, uh, no. It's, it's not like that. Uh, that will be a false. But uh, we are all people. I, even if we differ very much, like uh, Sunni, Shia, Catholics, Protestants, Orthodox, Yazidi, Hindu, mm, we must find a common solution to resolve all those problems who are dividing us. Mm, Otherwise, what will happen? Not in this speech, but um, a couple of months ago, Pope Francis said about the crawling Third World War. We must do everything to avoid the Third World War. I think also that the very important words of His Holiness were when he was talking about the conflict in the southern, in Latin America. Well, he's from Argentina, so he knows perfectly well what's going on. His words about the horrible situation in Venezuela, about the people suffering in Venezuela and so many states were very moving because those problems, those uh, social problems are being inspired by the extremists from far left or far right. And we mustn't be moved by those evil forces. So we must uh, work together for the goodness of people because we are the sons of God, yeah. one God, Jesus Christ. Janusz Katinski, Ambassador of Poland to the Holy See, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much. God bless you.